And now, Late Night Boxing Talk with your host, Jay Cotto. What up, fight fans? I'm Jay Cotto. Welcome to Late Night Boxing Talk. Let's get it. What? 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 Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, one goddamn minute. Wait, hold up, wait a minute. Wait, start shit that I finish. finish. Hold head on, listen, oh, listen. Diamonds on my wrist, glisten, glisten. Nigga, let me get your minutes. What's going on, fight fans? Welcome to your late night boxing talk. And of course, this tops off the end of fight week as we head into this match between WBA welterweight champion one time Keith Thurman and WBC title holder Danny Swift Garcia. But I have a lot of lot of boxing talk. And I'm going to share it with you guys, man. Just want to let you guys know, man, what's been going on. And, uh, well, basically, man, you know, I've been dropping a couple of videos here and there. Um, you know what I mean? You know, <clears throat> I, I always start off with, you know, just explaining exactly what's going on within the, uh, you know, within the movement and my channel as well. And, um, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Lost one more subscriber. It is what it is. You know, people are allergic to the truth. And, the truth sets those free. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to go off on the bandwagon or follow other people. It's all good. You know what I mean? It's all good. But just to let you guys know who who, who have unsubscribed, I do because I, I I do keep a a straight list on who unsubscribed. And of course, I block you for good because once you're gone, you're gone. You know what I'm saying? And um, I mean, there's no excuse exactly why you. You, you left the channel in the first place. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't nothing offensive I said unless you're a fanboy. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I, I, I really don't care. You know, those who unsubscribe, just once you're gone, don't come back. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it makes no sense. But um, the show goes on, man. It is what it is. Let's start this late night boxing talk. But first, let's get it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Now, Deontay Wilder and David Brazil, okay, get into a beef after their fights on Saturday, okay? All was caused by a certain member of Wilder's entourage. Now, the person said things to Brazil's kids as well as caused a huge disruption. Wilder had tweeted, that's that it's it's lies and there are two sides to every story. Now, personally, I always thought this way is two sides of the story. You know what I mean? He said it's lies. Um, also claims that uh, he doesn't work with a large entourage, as Brazil had claimed. But footage, as well as inside sources at the fight, okay, say different. And footage may surface as well, as this is being investigated. I mean, you know... Most had said, you know, and witnessed that Wilder and company were at fault. You know what I mean? Now, you guys already know how I feel about kids being in the way as well as the wife. You know what I mean? That's a no-no. Whatever beef you got, you wait until the next time you see each other. That's the way men handle shit. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Now, Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman will be going at it tomorrow. They had the weigh-in today, and the weigh-in was a 147-pound weight limit, okay? Now, WBA champ, okay, uh, Keith Thurman, which he will be attempting his fourth uh, title defense, came in at 146 and a quarter, and WBC title holder Danny Garcia came in at 146 and a half, okay? These guys looked in, great, in good shape, and, you know, just one question, fight fans, who you got? Both men seem to look in shape and, uh, you know, they had a great training cramp. Uh, footage was and is available 
for those who, you know, want to just see exactly how they were preparing. Now, Garcia says that uh, it won't be the same with his father at ringside. So if Garcia loses, I'm more than sure that this is going to be the number one excuse for, GF, for, for, for you know, DSG fans. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be the number one excuse. And, of course, Keith Thurman is not going to get a fair shake if he wins. But Andrew Garcia continued to bash Thurman, even though he he has the WBC all over him, okay? And all over his conduct. He said that Thurman had retard strength. You know what I mean? That, you know, it continues to become unacceptable. But, you know, there'll be more in the program on Thurman and Garcia, okay? But also there was an interview where, uh, right after the weigh-in, you know, Thurman... And Garcia sat down, and they said that Thurman said that he's been 21 years in in the fight game, and Danny will learn. Okay, uh, to take his belt, it won't be an easy, it won't be an easy task. Um, everything that makes one time a great fighter will be shown against Danny. And Danny Garcia said in uh, in his piece on his interview that I'm a true champion, and uh, we take on everybody. <laughs> uh, man, I'm one of the best. In the world, pound for pound. It doesn't matter about being the underdog. I know what I can do. Hashtag, let's get it. Big head to the neutral. Fuck a bitch on the futon. Don't say it, but she don't want to be saved, nigga. This ain't group on. Do my dinner by my lonely. All my bitches know me, homies. If I pull up with my bitch, hoes better act like they don't know me. Now. Con and Pacquiao. Seems to not really be going down. I mean, we really don't know what's going on. They said it was official the other day, but then Bob Barum's coming out saying something. But, you know, um, at least I can say it's been confirmed by the fighters. You know what I mean? Uh, they said that they, these guys worked, you know, worked, worked out the deals or whatever it is. So let's see what exactly happens. But, uh, you know, um, you know, the fighters want the fight and, um, just basically, Aram has stated, okay, he has said that there is no agreement just yet, okay? Basically, Aram said, as far as I'm concerned, the two fighters, Pacquiao and Khan, sat down and came to an agreement. But now, when it comes to everything else, it's still being agreed upon. So as of now... There's nothing to be said about this fight. Now, that's exactly what Bob Arum said. Otherwise than that, here's a word from our sponsor. I'm a side bitch of sand check. Diamonds clear like windjacks. One point on the index. Something wet like an insect. So you better be cool. Shady better be nude. When I walk in a room, she knows she fucking with a gold. Hi, I'm Mike Tyson. Do you have athlete's feet? Do you suffer from itching and pain? Well, you need fast acting to nactin, at least foot spray. Goes on cool, and the relief is fast, like my right. If your feet hurt, or if they itch in any way, get yourself some fast acting to nactin, at least foot spray. It's a knockout. My third leg got hang time. Bang, 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 bang time. And now, back to late night boxing talk. With your host, Jay Cotto. Shut it so contradictive. But the D's so addictive. I mean, how did you pay my head down like Kramer? What up, guys? What's going on? <laughs> What's good, man? Well, now, <clears throat> you know. This is this is really 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 getting getting good, you know. Um, here's a second a second part to the uh, you know to the Keith Thurman and the Danny Garcia statement that I have. This is basically, I you know, it's it's just the way I feel about this fight, and just basically what's lingering about this fight. Okay, the the question that lingers around the fight fans. Okay, it comes in bunches. All right, questions on Garcia and Thurman, you know, is basically, can they bring the best out of each other? Will Thurman handle and get past Garcia's sneaky left? Will Andrew Garcia be at ringside? Lots of questions, lots of speculation, hate, and everything that's tied to any of these men 
leaving doubts in the minds and the lives of the fight fans and ours as well. We can understand, you know, the it's a business statement or it's the hurt business rants. Okay, as some fighters, some fight fans misconstrue the two sayings. The sport being a business is fact, but now it being the hurt business can only be said by not every fighter, but the competitive ones as they take high risks and mediocre pay fights. Okay, because at the end of it all, a legacy is what it's all about your name. And your craft solidified. As money comes and goes, and comes and goes, but a legacy is very hard, obscure, abstract, and very rare these days. At 140 pounds, Garcia reigned supreme, basically. Okay, Garcia took on several names that had stature. Okay, but there's pedigree. Okay, there's pedigree that has been faded. Okay. They had already been faded by age. Okay, example, Eric Morales. It's very hard not to respect Garcia for fights streaming from Salka and to the most recent Vargas. Salka had a very low ranking as well as Vargas being a tune-up for Thurman. Already having flaws observed and noticed by fight fans, none of Garcia's opponents were able to expose those flaws except Herrera and Peterson. Even though these two fighters lost in a UD to Garcia, we the fight fans and most of the boxing world know that Garcia lost those two fights. Now, Thurman being WBA champion and also taking undefeated records uh, several times in his career, Thurman can and perhaps will be able to expose and defeat Thurman. One time himself has been caught once and has received two devastating body shots from two competitive opponents in Collazo or Collazo and Porter. But Thurman has never been dropped. Neither has Garcia. Both undefeated and not even in their prime. Can these two raise the bar? Will Garcia, if victorious, become the competitive champ that people want him to be at 100 that he used to be at 140, at 147. Or if defeated, will Garcia learn the lesson of not taking shorts and taking on mandatories and ranked opponents? There are doubts on Thurman as well, guys. Some claim Thurman has ducked Errol Spence Jr. without Spence Jr. being ranked and was a prospect at the time. The trend following of Mayweather did that. Thurman has a floor that is basically critical, but from his most recent training camp, Thurman has been working on that, and it is his obliques, abdomen, core. He can claim he is not susceptible to body shots, but he is. He has weathered the storm and has never taken a knee or has been dropped, but it is and will be dangerous for Thurman in this fight. Garcia had good choices leading up to this fight. He could have fought someone of the caliber if he at, at, of the same caliber if he wanted to. He had a nice choice. Could have had a Peterson too, a Khan too, but Khan chose Canelo. He could have had a Porter and a Crawford. He had good tough choices, but he chose Vargas. Fought Guerrero for the vacant WBC first at 147 and now faces. At 147, Keith Thurman, who may be the best welterweight in the Divi just yet. Fans of Garcia would disagree as they chant, it's about the money. But what happens when your champ gets put into a situation he can't get out of in that ring? Garcia is moving up. From what I can see, his power at one from 140 does not carry so far to 147 pounds. Vargas was a prospect level fighter at 147 and ate all of Garcia's shots, only being knocked down once. But being stopped. But after several received shots, Thurman can take shots and give him as well. Now, it will be a good fight. 
It just may turn out to be a fight of the year candidate. We need a good competitive fight, and so far, Thurman has not been boring, and neither has been Garcia. But after this fight, the king at 147 pounds will be determined. Once again, I asked a question, fight fans, leading up to this fight. Who, and I repeat, fight fans, <laughs> who do you have winning in tomorrow's championship bout? And now we're from our sponsors. Bob Arum's Toe Fungus Remover. Do your toes give away your age? Do you have toe fungus? Do your feet look like you slipped on a live pair of ostrich legs? Then get Bob Arum's Toe Fungus Remover. Made with the sweat off the backs of many former fighters and wombat piss, you'll get fast action. And look, no side effects. Bob Arum's Toe Fungus Remover. Get it at your local Rite Aid. And now, back to late night boxing talk with your host, Jay Cotto. I'm a Tim's bitch, got my boots on, got the X-Cons in the Yukon. I don't steal bitch, I kill bitch, about to catch me a new charm. All right, guys. I just can't wait for tomorrow, man. I hope you guys are really, 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 really going to enjoy this fight tomorrow. I have a feeling that, like I said before, you know, I have a feeling that this, you know, the, the, the Thurman... The Thurman and Garcia fight is definitely going to be a fight of the candidate, uh, a fight of the year candidate. You know what I mean? There's, there's no denying that simply because of the way these guys have been training, the way it's been leading up to everything, the way these guys have just been taking it. And these guys are not playing, man. Now, Eddie Hearn says David Hay doesn't really want a big fight. Okay. We always hear of some type of injury. Okay. He likes to control situations and he just can't do that with me, says Eddie Hearn. It's personal with Belly and Hay, and Hay is about money. And he doesn't he doesn't do hard fights. So basically we all know, just like I've been stating and what Hay has been displaying, you know what I mean? Uh he's just been a bitch about things. Uh we knew this as soon as uh he made Briggs go through all of these trials and tribulations, which were only two, but still. Passed him with flying colors and still fronted on Briggs. Now, that's foul as fuck. Now, moving along. Carlos Quadras wants a rematch with Roman Chocolito Gonzalez. And he says that the people have to want it. Okay? And also, if Chocolito is pound for pound, look what he did to the pound for pound. He also says, I bought I bought the power, but I started too late. Next time, I will start fast and finish him fast. Now, the judges favored Chocolito, and this time, let's have neutral judges. And I I couldn't agree more, but at the same time, like you said, you even said it yourself. See, this is what's wrong with some fighters where they contradict themselves. You know what I mean? Uh, I had, you know, I I saw Quadras winning, but at the same time, about, about three to four rounds, he just backed off a bit. And he even said it himself in the statement. You know what I mean? He started off wrong. I mean, he started off way late as well. So, you know. Um, Golovkin's promoter says that the fight with Canelo is looking good for fall 2017. Hmm. Now this was reported by BoxingScene.com. And I tell you right now, I, I, I don't believe it. I'm not going to believe it the same way that this, this, this thing with, you know, Pacquiao and Khan simply because of Khan, you know, and as well as Aram doing this shit now. As to, I'm I'm not gonna believe this fight. They went down unless these guys touch gloves. You know what I mean? Because I sure want to see this fight now. 
some more David Hay news. David Hay and, and Bellew is, you know, this Saturday as well. And David Hay challenges champion Bellew for his cruiserweight title. Now, rumors have Hay pulling out, but he shot the, he shot down the claims over Instagram. All right. Now, champ Tony Bellew says that, uh, you know, he says, let's just fight. I train a fight. He trains to have a six pack. You know, uh, his comments about a racial element are lies. Why say racial things are like that? He has proven to be a liar on many occasions. He is a liar, a fraud. As for his injury, he has to fight. This is the last chance. He's capable of pulling out, and we all know this. And I was scared too, you know what I mean? I was scared too, so was everybody. Things were going around, and right away the flags went up. Oh shit, David Hayes pulling out. But yeah, you know, from, from what it looks like, he's not pulling out, which is a good thing, which is a pretty good thing. I'm just I'm just happy that this is... It's, it's going to happen. I, I would like Bellew to just <laughs> embarrass David Hay. You know what I mean? To just embarrass David Hay. And now, a word from our sponsor. Damn bitches try to call me. That's how I knew y'all was phony. I be putting in that work, taking in the church because I leave them holy. Hey. When I smoke this bitch, yes. Probably fail my piss test. Get rid of those fake breasts and put a vest on this bitch. Hey. Yes. It's lunchtime, she fooled. I'm Troy Yav yeah, with that tool. Both hands on it like noon. Remy my, I'm a goon. Hey. Manny Pacquiao's. Mustache for men, made with gator tooth. Your mustache will grow thick and full. So full, barber blades and razors will have a Pacquiao challenge. Look at your best with a shiny mustache. Manny Pacquiao's mustache for men. Get it at your local GNC. Late night boxing talk has been brought to you by Memo Heredia's vascular rush Look like a genetic freak Hit like a fucking space alien Get to where you want to be With the advanced and undetectable formula of Silverback Gorilla Testicle Glands, Piranha Teeth, and Wolverine Eyelids, and the concentrated power of Clorox. Results may vary. Side effects, face and back acne. Get looking at your best. Memo Heredia's Vascular Rush. Late Night Boxing Talk has also been brought to you by The Tooth Fairy 2, Root Canal, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Paulie Malignaggi. Coming Thanksgiving 2017. And... The Seal Lomachenko's Foot Powder Plus. Are you getting athlete's feet, fungus, and odor from results of overuse of your footwork? Made with sloth sweat, get instant relief. Will not cure your foot problem. See a podiatrist for that shit. Get the Seal Lomachenko's Foot Powder Plus. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Welcome back. And of course, we're almost done with the week. Happy Friday, y'all. I forgot to mention that shit in the beginning of the program, but it's all right, though. You know, um, just basically, man, this is the part of the show where I get close to closing out. But, of course, before I go, I have one more piece of boxing news, and that's Brian Jennings. Brian Jennings goes in on Dylan White and says, White can't fuck with me. Now, that'll be a good fight. Hashtag, let's get it. Now, Brasco and his 45, check out the playlist. The final three episodes to season two are coming. So catch up in order 
to catch up and start actually season three. You know what I mean? Thanks so much for the support for people that have been uh, going through the views through Facebook. Uh, this week alone got 50 views. Thank you very much. Hashtag come back to boxing, fellas. Thank you. And, you know, just just basically, man, enjoy this this story. Brosco is 45. It's out there. You know what I mean? It's on my playlist. Check it out. Um, and basically, join the Red Gloves, fight fans. All right? This is a fight fan boxing faction on Facebook. Okay? Get the truth on boxing. Speak the truth. And meet real Hardcore boxing fans, man. I'm talking about real good people. Everybody that's down with the red gloves and hashtag come back to boxing, man. The, these boxing forums are great. They keep it they keep it funky, man. They keep it real, too. You know what I mean? They keep it real. They keep it all boxing. Otherwise, in that fight, fans, enjoy the fights tomorrow. One time army. Let's get it. God bless both fighters. And thank you for joining Late Night Boxing Talk, everybody. Pass this around. Pass this channel around, man. Let's keep the truth going. My name is Jay Cotto. Thank you for joining my fight page and late night boxing talk. Good night. God bless. Stay vigilant. Peace. Late Night Boxing Talk has been brought to you by Errol Spence Jr.'s Nipular. With the strength of vice and saliva, it's bound to work. If you suffer from swollen memory glands or nipples, use Nipular. Late Night Boxing Talk has also been brought to you by X, Y, and Z Box. Because there's no limit to video games. As the consumers consume on more crap, get the X, Y, and Z box. With revolutionary state of the art graphics and a huge selection of in games, the X, Y, Z box will entertain you for hours. You may even call out of work. The X, Y, Z box. Cover all your future gen platforms. Late Night Boxing Talk has also been brought to you by Sean Porter's Curl and Braid Activator. Get the look that takes all the attention off your face and onto your face. Curl or Braid Formula. Either way, look the max. Play the part with Sean Porter's Curl and Braid Activator.